So I'm always asked, uh, especially at that first visit after diagnosis, what's my prognosis? And I always say, well, I don't have a crystal ball, so I can't really tell your future. However, uh, that examination that I was talking about, the Unified Parkinson's Disease Rating Scale, allows me to put another dot on the graph with each visit to be able to uh, see about every three to four months if there's any changes, uh, if you're responding to medications, or if there are some symptoms or new symptoms that are emerging. And that allows me to give you a better idea of what the prognosis is. However, I do tell people at that first visit that to me there is a very clear uh, line or fork in the road um, when I'm thinking about how well a person will do with Parkinson's disease. And that is really something that's uh, personal and dependent on how much exercise a person is doing because the people who come in to get medication and go home and are pretty inactive don't do as well as the people who are active and exercising regu regularly. In fact, the people who exercise regularly are always on less medication than the people who are not. So uh, that is a good piece of information, I think, for anybody with Parkinson's because it puts that power back in their hands. And it's not about how well I treat it. It's a collaborative effort and it really emphasizes that there are uh, nutrition and lifestyle changes as well as exercise uh, that needs to be discussed at every visit and really clearly has an impact on the prognosis of Parkinson's disease. <music>